down on the floor. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of For Facts Sake, the podcast. We take a random topic and Google the facts. So you don't have to. And we are here in your beautiful apartment here in Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles. You know, it's weird. I've been on FaceTime with people and everyone thinks I'm in a parking garage because of all the concrete. Oh, yeah. It's very industrial here. Like, ooh, this is where... That's what made me want it. Yeah, this is where someone's going to be like, is making the next brand new fashion brand or is being tied up to a post and spanked. You know, this is the kind yeah, of... That <laughs> I can get. It's got but this kind of vibe. and stuff, like, I love uh, it. Uh, this episode is a fun one. It's one that... R- <laughs> I guess uh, you could say grabs you dearly to your heart. I wish I had her here. I know. She'll be here next time. Mandy? Nina. Oh, your dog. (laughs) 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 Nah, she's great. I love Mandy. Mandy, you scare me. Um, Before we get into this week's episode, a quick reminder, give this podcast a rating review on uh, Apple Podcasts slash iTunes. Rating reviews help the podcast grow. Also, if you like bonus episodes, you want to see us do a live stream every month, and you want to see this video, uh, this episode in full video, hit us up on... Patreon.com slash FFS podcast. You should know that. Uh, no, because sometimes I want to say FFS pod, like our Instagram. Right. Then for fat, like, I don't know. It's too many F and fucks. I know, I know. You got a lot of fucks and Fs in your life. Uh, hit us up on Patreon. Full video on there. You get to see this. And you get a bonus episode on this very topic, which is dogs. Because we love them. I've never owned a dog. But you like them. I do like dogs over cats. Because you're not a bad person. I'm not a bad person. If all the other factors out there, if you're a big cat person, I just want you to know you're a good person. I don't think anything's wrong with you. But, but I, you're weird. But and probably don't clean yourself well. I don't. I don't <laughs> think uh, I go further than that. I think you, you go don't, further. You don't want true love in your life. Oh wow! Uh, you want to earn it. Dude, I've gotten in arguments about. So I w- haven't wanted to go in on cats because my mm. co-host on Horrible, Mandy, just got a cat a year right. ago. And like, I was like, all right, we already argued too much. She's going to think I'm like. Ye- to- she needs a cat, though. Why? She needs an, a new pussy to pet. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> love you, Mandy. Uh, but cats, you got to earn it. And I don't got time to earn it. Someone told me that cats are only loyal to one person where dogs can be loyal to like a family. Right. That's why they say men are like dogs because they're constantly humping around. But I do like a dog. Like when you come home and it's like, hey, I thought you were dead. Oh, you're here. It's so excited. Yeah. Whereas a cat's like, oh, you're still here. I'll be shitting in a box. I know. They don't get up. They don't come to you. Oh, man. I've had my dog only a month. I'm like. When she sees me comes in, she's like, Ugh. dude, That's a so dog cute. will like poop on the f- on the floor or like on the car. Be like, I'm sorry. Don't hate me. And a cat will like literally barf up a ball of her and then be like, clean it up. I know. <laughs> Deal with it. And <laughs> it's funny because someone told me I have the most cat dog ever because. Why? Because it's so little. So she's so little for one. She sleeps a lot. And three, um, she basically she's so tiny that she can live on a pee pee pad. Mm. And she can't go outside yet because she's not vaccinated. Right. Neither are you. <laughs> <laughs> so both of you can't go anywhere. So basically, <laughs> she has to like, you know, because you can't take her outside and like all the grass right, and all the right. dirty shit, especially New York. Right. So she shits on a little pee pee pad and she's mm. so good about it. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Do you know, can you, do you know, there's, uh, there's cats out there that you can train. To walk outside. That, if you walk your cat. I'm sorry. You probably sleep with a leather mask on or something. <laughs> You're like a freak. But there's there are cats that you can teach how to like poop in a toilet and like pee I've in a toilet. I've seen that, but I only knew that from Meet the Parents. Yes. And when you open the door, it's like, oh, I'm sorry. Because I didn't know it was here. The, the one thing I don't like about that, like the litter box smell stays in the house. Like I know Nina. That's my dog's name, Nina Simone. Like I know she poops, but like mm. I take it. I flush it down the toilet and I throw it out. Mm. You know what I mean? But right. with the litter box, like the smell carries, not to mention all the dander and the hair. Right. It's just like, and then I'm allergic to cats. I don't know if you Me are. too. I, 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 if there was a cat, even I, I'm so allergic to cats that one time I went to a, a, a like of someone's house for like a get together. You didn't see the cat and you couldn't breathe. No, their neighbor had two cats. And because of the, they're sharing a vent, I could, I'd be like, do you have a cat? I'm like, no, but oh our neighbor has God. two. I was like, man, my, my chest was heavy. It didn't help. It I, also, can't, I can't breathe. It also helped that I didn't like being there and I wanted an out. You're but like, <gasps> You uh, were wheezy. <laughs> <laughs> I was wheezy. I wanted to get the hell out of there. But uh, the girlfriend is looking at getting a dog. Great. You'll be great with a dog. She wants a yard too, which is nice. But she's like, how about we foster a dog? How about we get like a dog for two weeks? We like, you know. And you get like the little sad stories like this is Ralph. He has one eye. 
And you're like, oh. I don't want an arms of an angel dog. I know. Let me tell you something. I don't give a <laughs> fuck how sad and bad this sounds. I knew I wanted a dog the last time I was here in LA, like a month and a half ago. I was like, you know what? I, I need something. I'm lonely. Mm. So I go, I type in puppy store. I find a place called Pups and Something or Barks and Bitches. I swear to God. Mm. I can't remember. It was on Melrose. So I walk in. I was like, hey, are there any puppies here? And the woman tried to shame me. She was like, we don't sell dogs in L.A. County. That's not something that we do in L.A. Wow. Oh, that's a big thing. I a friend of mine got a, okay. a friend of mine got a purebred golden retriever and she was getting shamed online for it because you should really get a rescue. You, sh- you should really get a dog that needs a home, not some dog that's from a breeder. And I was like, it's still an animal that they love to leave her alone. And not only is it still an it's th- where was the, the, the purebred going to go? Anyway, yeah. so then um, I went online and I was like, you know, all them shelter dogs, y'all told me to go look at were ugly. And mm. I think just my demographic doesn't give a fuck, luckily. Right. There were one or two people that were like, you can't go to a puppy mill. I'm like, well, is it a mill? It's a nice <laughs> store. I bought Nina from a place called City Pups mm-hmm. in Chelsea. And um, it was, to me, the guy was like, look, because I was like, oh, my God, people are going to hate me. I was like, I, I sounded like a total influencer. I was right, like, right. no, like if people fucking see how cute she is, like, because right. they call it a designer dog. Mm. And he was like, look, he's like, I do private breeders. He was like, sometimes I can't get certain dogs for certain times because I'm not in a rush. He's like, I want them mm. to be healthy. I don't want it to be incestual. That's a big thing. I right. Learned. So he told me, you know, a popular dog is a teacup poodle or a teacup Yorkie. Mm-hmm. And he's like, they're always like their brothers, their dad. He's like, oh, right. Them. So it's like they're from the South. Right. So I was like, well, this is the kind of dog I want. This is what I look like. He's like, okay, probably like six months, maybe. So I was like, all right, well, I'll just try to pick out what I got. And Nina was super chill. Mm -hmm. Nina looks like she smokes weed. Andrew did. I mean, Andrew, Alex told me he thought the dog was an R word. He said, R word. (laughs) I don't think Mm -hmm. it's, he's like, you got a good one. That's why it's not a big deal. He's like, yeah, she's super chill. She listens. She likes to nap. I was like, she's a dog. I mean, I was really hoping to meet. What's what's dog name? Michelle Williams? Right. Erica Badu? You better learn her <laughs> fucking name. <laughs> Erica Badu. Okay. Now, what is a dog? Okay. So, the domestic dog is a descendant of the wolf. So, dogs as we know it are domesticated. Mm-hmm. And um, they're derived from an ancient extinct wolf. And the modern gray wolf is the dog's nearest living relative. Mm-hmm. First speedy... Sp- first species to be domesticated by hunter-gatherers over 15,000 years ago before um, agriculture developed. So their long association with humans has led dogs to uniquely adapt to human behavior. Mm. Um, You know, especially with like emotions, things like that. Right. Trying to understand humor. Um, Now they vary in shape, size, color, perform many roles for humans, hunting, herding, pulling loads, protection, assisting police, military, companionship, therapy, and aiding disabled people. Mm -hmm. Um, They have also been given the name as a man's best friend. Now, one thing I do want to make mention of uh, with humor, I used to own a dachshund, which for those of you who don't know the name of that, it's the hot dog. and Long, thin dog. Yes. Yes. So the only reason I got a dachshund was because I heard they were only dogs that understood humor. And really like, will try to make you laugh and that like yeah Where, where'd you read that they, um they I just look just, funny though I, I will say that well like my dog used to stick himself in like my jackets or long sleeves oh to get stuck. but like other dogs when they see you laugh they just know they're making you happy but they right. don't understand humor apparently could be a rumor i, I know this for fact's sake one but. thing you'll notice about living because you're kind of part-time living in los angeles now Right. Uh, and you already have a better apartment than me that's you just got here that's not fair <laughs> uh dogs are everywhere <laughs> Not only dogs are everywhere, you're going to notice that Los Angeles, California, especially Southern California, it's the coyote king of, of California. Oh, I won't notice because I ain't going out there. No, it doesn't matter. They're in the city. Ew. Dude, I'm telling you, the coyotes are deceiving. They're in Southern California. What happens is you'll walk down the street in West Hollywood. I've seen them in West Hollywood where you walk down the street and you'll be like, oh, that dog doesn't have an owner. Oh. No, it's a coyote. It's almost like seeing like, hey, look at that beautiful little dog. Oh, no, it's a crackhead. It's the like, alligator hey, of Florida. Hey, 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 you know, just like moping around like and you'll look at them and you'll think, oh, that's like a little German shepherd. Like, no, it's a little coyote and they're everywhere. And sometimes from my balcony, because I live in the hills of uh, in Silver Lake, um, what happens is sometimes uh, 
uh, an ambulance will pass by, right? Hey, we ate somebody. And no, no, <laughs> 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 eat somebody. Uh, <laughs> so imagine some guys like bleeding. I thought it was a dog. Uh, but like the uh, the ambulance will pass by, and because of the sirens, all the coyotes go nuts. Oh, that's cool. And then from my balcony, you'll hear. Hey, just, those just start a sea of coyotes are all all over the place. Some of them are actual dogs, but you can tell. Do and they I, shoot them? No, but they travel in packs. One time. But why can't you shoot them? You can. Uh, Don't they? Do they want them dude, alive? Dude, this is California. You can't even kill a spider. Like the spider had a family. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it had a web of dreams, and you killed it. Um, dude, you're so right, though. Like they are way too pita here for me. Oh yeah. Yo, we were out having cocktails and someone complimented me on a fur bag I have. It's a pink fur bag. I got it at the trading post. It was like 20 bucks. And these girls complimented it. And one of the girls at the table said, it better not be real fur. It's pink. And I'm like. Who did you kill? Like a gay polar bear? I mean, bear? I guess you could <laughs> dye it. But I looked at her. I said, do you like wearing those Nike leather sneakers? And she's just like looking at me. I was like, your shoes are leather. Do you know they're leather? Do you know where that comes from? And she's she's looking, like. Uh, what? Did you get a nosebleed? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know your Nike shoes were made by a child in China? Bitch. And uh, I, I, stop Asian hate. And she just passes out. <laughs> I, I couldn't see her bag, but I bet she probably had some expensive designer oh, leather bag. Bro. So kiss my fucking ass, bitch. Everyone who when I can afford real fur, I will have it on. Everyone who has like this agenda where they're like, I you know, you should, you shouldn't adopt, you shouldn't get dogs from a breeder. You should get it from. Uh, a, you know, a, a kennel they ugly or whatever. Me. I went. They're all missing stuff. Eyes, parents. <laughs> they missing legs. I want to get a. I want to get a used Gucci bag. I get a used dog. 